Hey guys, this is Gundam Freedom and today I'll be doing a review of the 1144 no grade Gundam Ashtaron. For colors, this guy comes molded in that uh, light 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 purple for the entire body and some light gray on some of its uh, limbs and a navy blue for the feet and on the backpack and I think that's it for the plastic colors and also the polycap joints which are gray and then for stickers the stickers are the v-fin the middle of the v-fin the face the eyes the chin the red on the chest or the cockpit hatch as well as the red on the vents and the yellow on the main vents as well as red on the front skirts navy blue on the middle piece on the crotch some red on the backpack some black and red for the uh, crab eye on the back and I think that's it for stickers for this guy and there's a lot of stickers for this guy because they didn't give you any red or yellow parts for the kit itself and then for details um, I painted this kit the gray details were painted like the top of, of the feet the thrusters and then the red on the backpack were also painted and then the red and yellow on the chest were painted the face and the v-fin were also painted as well as the red on the front skirts so just like the Versago it only comes with a beam saber which is all molded in this uh, light gray color just like the handle and it's all uh, gray including the beam so what I did is I just cut the beam until the handle here and just glued a green effect part from I think the high grade Kshatriya and now it has a clear green beam for the beam saber and to attach the beam saber you can just slide it on the hand which are all polycap hands it doesn't they didn't give you any extra hands for this kit and that is the beam saber held in the hand so for other weapons it also comes with the claws here on the back which can be deployed on a double joint or I think triple joint or four joints because there's a polycap here inside the backpack here which moves in and out and then there's another double joint here on the secondary claw and then another joint here double joint here on the third connection and then another joint here on the bottom and also rotation and then the claws themselves they can open up just like so and there's a beam barrel on the bottom so that it can fire it while it's fighting the mobile suits that it's fighting against so those are the only weapons that the kit has and the only downside of this kit is that the joints are a bit loose because again this is an old kit so yeah deploying the claws is a bit of a headache because they are a bit loose when they are deployed and they just flop over anywhere so those are the weapons and accessories that it has the neck is on a single wall joint so the head can go up about that far down that far side to side pretty good and rotate all the way around the arm if you move the uh, claws out of the way they are on a peg coming from the body up to the arm here so they can rotate up to here or all the way around and then they can go forward or up and down from the same joint and then the arm here can go out about that far separate from the shoulder armor and then there's a uh, polycap joint here on the elbow which can bend about that far and also rotate and then the hands are on typical ball joints which can rotate and wiggle around for the torso it doesn't have any forward and back or a little bit of forwarded back only because of the give of the polycap and then there's no side to side or maybe a little again because of the polycap and then it can also only rotate about 
that far because of the chest here hitting the back skirt and the front skirt here. The waist, the front skirts are molded together and they can go up about that far. The side skirts are on a peg so they can go up and down a little bit and forward and back. The back skirt doesn't move, it's fixed pose here. And then the legs are on a ball joint or the hips are on ball joints so they can go up about that far. Go back until it hits the back skirt. Side until it hits the side skirt. And a little bit of forward and back motion from the ball joint. And then the knee armor here can move a little bit in and out. And then the knee joint is on, the, on double joints but because of the shape of the leg it can only bend about that far. And then the foot themselves are on a ball joint so they can go up and down and then side to side and rotate about that far. For the backpack, the claws, you already see the already saw the gimmick on the claw here, but the storage area for them are on polycap hinges here on the back, which can go in and out and also rotate. And then the uh crab face here can go up and down on the same poly cap and also rotate while it's on the back. So the Asteron here is a transforming mobile suit so to transform it you need to rotate the head all the way until it's facing back and then for the crab head here just remove it just like so and then move the uh, joint forward and you don't need to remove the crab head you just you can just let it stay on the joint here if you want but it's much easier to move the uh, body here or to remove the head when it's being transformed so that it will not be clashing on any part of the body so just realign the uh, crab head here facing forward just like so it will stay and it will cover up the face or the head and that's it leg so that is the upper body and then the arms you can just bend it or just leave it straight forward just like so and then situate the claws forward or the claw storage area and, this, and then the claws themselves you deploy them forward and down Just like so. Do the same thing on the other side. So just deploy the claws. Just like so. So that they will be facing down and forward. As you can see here. So there's the front half of the body done and then for the legs just need to bend the legs up just like so and that is the Asteron all transformed and it looks really goofy because the legs are just bent up when it's transformed to make it look like it's a crab and then the claws the claws are okay and the head here is okay but the bottom looks weird so yeah that's a transformed version of the Asteron I don't know what it's called but the upgraded version of this guy the Asteron crab I think the uh, transformed mode is called the crab so yeah, I think this is also a crab. 
So here is the Astaron next to a normal size Gundam, which is the Entergrade RX-78. And as you can see, the Astaron is much taller than the RX-78. And in the anime, I think the Astaron is a, a big boy because, again, he's a transforming mobile suit. And he's really bulky and tall. So they made him very, very powerful. And then here is the Astaron again next to the Versago, the original Versago. And the Gundam X, which looks very skinny and small compared to the Astaron here. Overall, I like this kit despite its age and its problems. So the first problem with this kit is the lack of colors. So a lot of it is uh, stickers, so you need to paint a lot of the red parts and the yellow parts. And then the other problem is the face and it looks bad. So I think that if I could uh, get another uh, face for this guy, I might change the face so that it will look much better. And then the claw gimmick was good, but unfortunately because of the uh, old technology and the old plastic that they use, it tends to get loose over time and they will just flop around if you don't put the time and effort into tightening up the joints and also um, the transformation is okay for the front part but on the back it's just a bend backwards leg so it looks bad on the back but the front is good already so I think that if they made a high grade version of this guy they could pull off the transformation way better than this uh, no grade version and it will look much better overall so that's it for this review. I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye!